We are in Windows 10 and you're probably here because you're having a problem booting your computer, possibly due to a virus or a corrupt registry setting. So I'm showing you this off of a virtual machine. In this case, it's VirtualBox, but this also works on a physical computer as well. So we need to boot off of the, the DVD, the uh, Windows 10 DVD, uh, or we need to uh, boot off of an ISO if it is a virtual machine. So if it's a virtual machine, just make sure you're booting off of the uh, correct DVD. In this case, we're doing Windows 10. All right, so let's go ahead and click Next. And from here, we're going to click on Repair Your Computer. And now we see the option to Troubleshoot. So we're going to click on Troubleshoot. And we're going to click on Advanced Options. And then we want to go to a command prompt. So a few buttons you got to click there to get to the command prompt. And now we're going to type a single command to tell us where Windows is located. So let's type BCD edit and hit enter. So that's BCD edit right there. Just want to make sure that you see that. And then when we scroll down, we can see in this particular case that the OS is on the E drive. Now, of course, when we boot up, it's always on the C drive. But sometimes when you boot off of these ISO files or boot off the DVDs, it changes the drive letter where Windows is located just temporarily uh, during the repair process. So we know we need to go to the E drive because that's where it is right now. So we'll go ahead and type E colon, enter. If I just do a DIR for directory, we can see there's our Windows folder. So now what we need to do is we need to type in regedit. This is the same command you would type if you were booted into Windows to edit the registry. So let's go ahead and expand that. And now we see the five different keys that you're used to seeing. So let's go ahead and load up the registry files because right now, like if I click on uh, H key users, for instance, there's nothing there. It's, it's the program that's open, but it hasn't actually loaded anything. So if I click on H key users and I go to file and then I choose load hive. Now, if, you, if this is grayed out, if load hive is grayed out, sort of like where you see unload hive is grayed out, it means you haven't clicked on a key. So make sure you've clicked on H key users in this particular case, if you want to recover from the, the virus potentially that we talked about, and we'll click file load hive. So we want to get to the E drive because remember E is where our Windows directory is, and this is where Windows is loaded, and we go to Windows, and then we go down to System 32. So we'll scroll down to System 32. And then we want to go to the Config folder. So again, yours may not be the E drive. If you type BCD Edit, it tells you where Windows is loaded. All right, so now that we have scrolled down, we'll go, we're going to click on Software. This is the actual registry software uh, setting. So we'll go ahead and click that, click Open. And we need to give this a temporary name. So I'm going to go ahead and call this Repair, but you can call it anything you want. And it's, this is where the registry software key is, keys are going to be loaded. So we click OK and take a look. Repair just pops right up, right up under the H key users uh, Hive key. So now we're going to go down a little further so we can make some changes. So let's expand Microsoft. And then we're going to scroll down to Windows NT. So type the W key to get there a little faster. And we see Windows NT and then current version. So when I double click on current version, we're going to see a whole bunch of other sub keys pop up. And again, this is if you want to recover from a virus, but you can also go to any one of these other keys in case you're having an issue. Like you've got the Drivers32 folder, you've got uh, you know all different kinds of folders you can go in to fix Windows, and whatever changes you make will stick when you go to reboot. Now in our case, we're going to go down to the Win Logon folder, which is right here. And now we're going to go to where it says User Init. Double click on that. And this is typically where a virus is going to go and uh, make changes. So we don't uh, want to see a different value than what you see here. So it needs to say, even though we're on the E drive right now, when we boot up, it's going to go back to the C drive, right? So we want to go to C colon backslash Windows backslash System32 backslash user in it dot exe. So if it doesn't say that then that means that you've got some sort of a, a virus redirecting you to wherever it wants it to go. So you want to change it so it says just what you see here. Once that's all done, you can go ahead and click OK, and now that setting has been saved. You don't have to click the Save button or anything like that. So once you've made the changes to the registry that you want to change, then you'll want to go to 
uh, highlight the repair folder once again. It's got to be on this location, otherwise this won't work. Choose File and choose Unload Hive. So if you don't see that option uh, dark, then that means you haven't highlighted the right folder. So I'll just go ahead and unload. Yep, let's go ahead and click Yes. And you can see we're back to where we were, where there's nothing that we can make changes to. Now we'll go to File Exit, and we're back to our command prompt. We'll type Exit again. And now we'll go ahead and continue on to Windows 10. So we're booting into Windows 10. And once we're back in, we should be able to take control of our computer if you were redirected by a virus on that user init file. And now we're logging back into Windows. No damage done. And hopefully you've recovered from a virus if that's the problem that you had. And uh, Windows is now once again usable.